know that one in eight premature deaths around the world are linked to air pollution. One in eight? That can't be right. I've never heard of people dying because of air pollution. Well, air pollution affects our breathing and can worsen lung conditions such as asthma and bronchitis. It also increases your risk of heart attacks, strokes and heart failure. That's because when you breathe in polluted air, you breathe in toxic gas and nasty particles that get stuck in your body. If you imagine air pollution, you may think of a big, dirty factory. But most of our pollution comes from transport and home heating in cities. And those same activities are causing carbon emissions and climate change as well. That sounds terrible. What can we do about it? Clare City has been raising awareness by talking with citizens and finding out what they want for their area. The Clare City team has been doing surveys and workshops, festivals and film projects, a schools competition and a brand new game and app. These activities are happening in six places across Europe. The technical wizards at Clare City have been busily analysing the data from each area to shine a light on the problems of air pollution and carbon emissions. Clare City is researching how our everyday behaviours cause pollution and what we can do about it. By combining local knowledge with the expertise of the data team, Clare City is able to find and champion the best possible solutions for everyone. These solutions will be presented back to each local authority and the community. That's good enough for me and my grandkids. If you live in one of the participating areas and would like to know more about how you can get involved in tackling air pollution and carbon emissions, visit our website at www.clarecity.eu. Clare City is always looking to build connections in new areas. If you are interested in how your organisation can support clean air, we would love to hear from you.